eighth grade students, welcome back. We're still in section 4-4. We're doing example three today. And in this particular example, it's an application problem. We're going to do an environmental science application. Now, the graph shows you how much water is in a reservoir at different times. We are to find the slope of the line and then tell what the slope means. Now, if you've done examples one and two, then you already know how to do the slope formula. So here's the slope formula. Yes, I'm going to wear you out. I'm going to write it again. I'm going to say it again until we get this thing memorized. So M equals Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 divided by X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Now they've given us a graph. Uh, the top graph, it's a little grainy here at the top. Um, that's the amount of water in the reservoir, okay? So some sort of um, pond, lake, you know, that's holding a bunch of water in it. And, um, and we're tracking and seeing what's happening to that water level, okay? Now look at the y-axis really quick. Let's just talk about it. This is telling you the amount of water in thousands of cubic feet. Now remember, cubic feet is a measurement of volume. So we are talking about the y-axis is measuring the volume of water, okay? The volume of water. Okay, now the x-axis, as you can see here, is telling us that we are measuring time in terms of hours. So we're tracking time and we're measuring it in hours versus minutes, days, months, years, etc. They're telling us exactly what the time increment is, which is hours. On the graph, hopefully you notice that they gave us two points, okay? Now, if you know two points and we are trying to calculate the slope, then the most obvious and logical thing to do is use the slope formula. So call one of them point one and the other one point two. It doesn't matter. Just pick one of them. So let's call this top point point one, and let's call the bottom point point two. Okay? It ultimately doesn't matter. If you want to reverse it and do it the other way, that's fine. You can do that in your notes. Won't hurt my feelings at all. All right, so let's find y sub two. Y sub two is 2,000 minus, let's find y, y sub one, which is 3,000. Excellent. Okay, we're going to divide that by x sub 2, which is 60, minus x sub 1, which is 20. Okay, so if you have your calculators handy, um, use it when you need it, but 2,000 minus 3,000 is one, negative 1,000. Okay, 60 minus 20 is 40. Now, this might not be as easy to do mentally. We lop off those zeros there. What's 100 divided by 4? And if you said 25, you're right. And it is negative. Now, I do want to just point out for just a second, you see how the line is leaning left? What kind of correlation is that? Yes, if you said negative correlation, you are correct. Well, if it has a negative correlation, it's going to have a negative slope. So that's why it should be negative 25. If you got positive 25, you are incorrect. That's telling me that the line should be leaning to the right because it has a positive slope, therefore a positive correlation. This line does not. It's leaning left. It's starting up high and it's going down low. And that tells me it's a negative correlation, therefore a negative slope. Okay. That, my friends, was the easy part. Calculating the slope is actually really easy. What is not so easy is telling what the slope means. What does this slope on this graph in this situation, what does it represent? And that's not as easy, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna go back to the slope again. And remember, slope is all about um, the change in y over the change in x. So what does the y-axis mean? Okay, well that's volume of water. Okay, 
That's the volume of water. That's how much water is in the reservoir. And then the X is time in hours. So that would be number of hours. Okay? So when we look at our slope, and let's actually create it so it has a denominator. All integers have a denominator of 1. Okay? So if you end up with an integer, you don't have a fraction. You can always make your number a fraction. And then we can interpret it. Okay? So that negative 25, what that tells me is that the volume of the water is decreasing by 25. That's what it's telling me. The negative sign means it's going down. So the reservoir is not increasing in the, in the amount of water. It's decreasing. It's losing water. It's decreasing by 25. Um, actually, it says here 25,000 cubic feet. If you read the y-axis here, that's what it says. 25,000 cubic feet. It's losing that much every single hour. That's what the one means, the one hour. Every hour, the reservoir is losing 25,000 cubic feet every hour, okay? So let me erase for just a second so I can write that out for you. You don't erase. You have plenty of room on your paper. I just don't. And that's what we're going to write, okay? The reservoir is losing 25,000 cubic feet of water every hour. And that is the interpretation of the slope, okay? Guys, this is not easy. In fact, it's rather difficult, and I am just going to keep encouraging you that you need to practice this. So what we're going to do is we are going to go towards the back of our packet, and this is one of those problems here up at the top where you're going to show me what we just learned. So the one where, the, where you have your graph right here, this graph is an example just like example three. Okay, so give it your best shot. Come to class tomorrow with questions. Thank you so much. Great job.